community update numero 2. So if you've seen what happened last weekend and the last few days, it's been kind of crazy. A couple of blog posts uh, that brought a bunch of attention uh, to Zig. But before we get there, uh, let me um, let me address uh, like the community update a bit more in full. So uh, this is the second community update. What happened? Wh why did it take so long uh, after the first one? The answer is it's hard making these things. Or if you want to look at it from the other angle, uh, I, I'm bad at it. And um, so I don't know. It just it just felt hard to do them. And we were already communicating most things happening through other means. So uh, Andrew came on Showtime a bunch of times, and I used the uh, the initial part of the show to communicate minor things. So it, it didn't. I didn't have a um, a critical mass of things to talk about from a community perspective uh, to go over the. Uh, perceived effort on my from my side to make a video like this one uh, so i apologize but that's how things are uh, so last community update i was mentioning trying to get more money i was mentioning um trying to get more core contributors paid i was mentioning minor changes to the website and maybe something more coming up and what happened is that uh we are doing pretty well with money i believe we are at around um, 16k, 13, 16k uh, dollars a month from just from GitHub uh, sponsors, uh, which is great. And core contributors, man, I think every single core contributor right now is able to bill uh, time to the Software Foundation. So awesome. Uh, website redesigned and it's not that bad and nobody complained and I can tell you my life wasn't made horrible by the website redesign after a while the website website stuff kind of tends to get tedious but uh, yeah no drama great right um, so what's next what's now well um, I mentioned in the beginning that um, there has been a lot of attention about uh, uh, about Z lately. Uh, for some reason, one uh, last weekend, a blog post about uh, rewriting a keyboard firmware uh, from Rust to Zig uh, made the news on how it went to the top of Hacker News. People started looking at it, started um, comparing notes about Rust, Zig, and everything else. But uh, this happened already in the past. We get to the front page of Hacker News fairly regularly like maybe not every week but like it, it, it's far from the only occurrence but this time the spark i think it really ignited a fire and we are seeing a good chunk of people starting to flow into the z community uh which is awesome and it's also a thing that we need to make sure to to get right so this video is actually a call to arms if you will uh, for people that are already part of the community, know what we are doing, know the context, uh, know the state of things. And uh, in this video, I want to ask you all, please, uh, for your help to um, make sure we do we give a proper onboarding experience to the new people joining. This is extremely important because the new people coming in they lack all the context that we have. We know what's nice about Zig. We know what's bad about Zig. We know that there is no documentation for the central library or better, there's the experimental one, which is kind of crappy, but it, it is what it is. But more importantly, we know why the documentation is in that state and what is blocking the development from that angle. So we need to make sure that we communicate all this stuff to the new people coming. Uh, the problem is that uh, we were doing this already, so it's it's nothing new. What, what it's important is that we all understand that this effort has to scale um, based on the amount of new people coming in. If we get way too many new people compared to our ability to give to provide them with context, we will be overrun. They will uh, not immediately get an answer to their questions, and uh, at one point somebody will come up with other answers to the questions, the wrong answers to the questions. So um, we need to basically uh, understand that we have an ability to assimilate new people and give them the necessary context so that they know 
as I said, answers to questions, but also how to behave in the community. Uh, different communities have different rules. Uh, if you went to the Zig website, you should have seen this. The Zig community is decentralized, every community has its rules. But there's also some core, if you will, philosophical points that are uh, more universal across the entire project. So people need to be made aware of this stuff uh, so that they can um, contribute positively, but also understand that maybe Zig is not their thing, which is fine too. So we would, uh, which is, I guess that's also another angle. We need to provide context, but we also need to try to be chill and not to, you know, exaggerate with the evangelism, which is a bad thing. I think uh, there is really not much place for zealotry in the community from my perspective. So um, please, be considerate of other people that just don't care about Z, which is perfectly fine. Um, so that's basically just what I wanted to say. Uh, in practical terms, here's how I think we should all think about this. Um, the only way to cope with what I suspect is about to be a exponential growth of the community is to have a process that can keep up with it. We need a divide and conquer strategy. We need a super linear algorithm, not in terms of uh, whatever. We need an approach where we can, we can uh, scale exponentially as the influx scales exponentially. And this in practice means one thing. When somebody asks a question, asks a question, we need to make sure to give them not just a, a puntual answer, like a, a answer, that gives them the minimum amount of information to answer the question. We need to put in a little bit extra effort and make sure to give them a little bit more context so that they can then pass on this information to somebody else. We need to have also a system where uh, it's communication one too many. So you, for example, writing blog posts is amazing because you write it once. It takes some effort. It takes more effort than a comment in Discord, for example, but you write it once and you can link it many times. If you just like uh, toss a comment, maybe even a big comment in Discord, um, one day later, somebody else new will join and will ask the same question again. And then your effort is not going to be is not going to scale. So we need to be mindful of this problem. And it's a, an information pro it's an information flow problem. It's an engineering problem, and we can solve it. We just need to be smart and uh, deliberate about it. Um, now, now that this is out of the way. Uh, let me, for the new people, like if you're new, you just joined the Zig community, uh, welcome. Uh, happy to have you here. Know that it's really important um, that you put a little bit of effort in commun into communicating. The documentation is not perfect. The, the learning materials are not all there. There is sometimes out somewhere outside outdated stuff and uh, the language is still in flux and it can happen. It can be frustrating. I totally understand it. But um, if we don't move fast now, we can't move fast after 1.0, right? So this is the time to be fast. This is the time to have breaking changes and get to 1.0 as fast as we can. That's the overall best decision without any doubt. Uh, we will, as we get, as we move closer, um, be more careful about certain things and make it easier for people to uh, use Zig without having to be like constantly in Discord following everything to the last minute. Today, actually, I do kind of make a joke that if you haven't compiled Zig for more than eight hours, it's your fault if stuff doesn't work. Again, it's a joke, but it's not that, that wrong sometimes. And um, we want to make up to a get to a point where it's easier to to uh, enjoy Zig for even if it's in in its complete state without having to uh, to yeah always be there with a with a uh, with a here on the on the news line. Uh, but we'll get there. We're not there yet. Uh, we just need to get there. So um, understand then what Zig is, what Zig isn't. If something some, sounds bad and confusing and you don't like it, give us the benefit of the doubt. Allow people to give you uh, um, just a little bit of extra context. Like, really, I, I, I generally mean it. Not everything in the Zig world is perfect. It's perfect. There is a lot of amazing things, which I think might lead you on into thinking that things are more complete than they actually are. 
and uh, it might be disappointing, in, uh, disappointing if you land there and uh, you think you've been lied to. But the problem is that we don't really want to lie. We are trying to be as clear as we can uh, with the state of things. Uh, Zig is unstable. Documentation is imperfect, but the community is pretty nice. Join the community, ask people for help. You will get answers. You will know at least uh, how long you will have to wait before your the thing that you are trying to do but having trouble with can be enabled by uh, improvements in the standard library, fixing bugs in the compiler, etc. Uh, that said, um, if Zig is not for you, then fine. Uh, we we are how can I say? Uh, I think there is a lot of criticism that can be uh, can be made towards Zig that uh, is just correct. And like trade-offs always give you something, but they take something back. It's the nature of uh, <laughs> anything that is engineering, I believe. And um, yeah, that's that's just it. So. I hope everybody's gonna have a good time. Please, let's make sure that we uh, don't make this process uh, horribly inefficient because of no, or no one's individual fault. Uh, let's help new people come in. Let's enable them to help us enable other people. Let's have this, uh, you know, um, cascading effect, a nice uh, community nuclear reaction that uh, allows more people to have uh, their information that they seek. And I think that we have a good opportunity of making this a fucking awesome thing for everybody. So I hope to see you all. Um, thank you for your time. Bye.